The coffee is black. The robot is very, very frisky. <laughs> and I'd like to welcome you to the Wednesday, September 10th edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just rants with a cup of joe. And it's about a running start on the day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and today I'm going to rant on a wonderful model I built yesterday. I called a Lego gear box. And I modeled it directly from a Fisher Technique gear box that I got the previous day from a Fisher Technique professional series mechanics plus static 30 model set. What a wonderful model. Uh, so, some of you uh, viewers only watch Lego uh, because that's what you like and I understand that. You, what you need to do is start watching all my videos because I, I really uh, show uh, sometimes a lot of great ideas that you can even use with your Lego. For here, Here's an example. This is a Fisher Technique made in Germany model. And I was so taken with the uh, the design. See, there you got high gear. See how it's going fast. Then low gear, and then reverse. I was so taken with the design that I decided, well, I'm going to build this in, in Lego. And, and when you watch my videos, that's what you ought to do. You ought to just be looking for great ideas, for modeling ideas, even if you are a, a Lego fan because you can learn from other models and that's the same with my Canex. I got a lot of great Canex models that could be converted into Lego models. The Canex has a, a super duper uh, set of gears. Anyhow, I was taken with this model and I decided to redo the model in Lego and I did it exactly the same. Here we have uh, a two speed, high speed and low speed. So they're going in the same direction. High speed and low speed. And if you move it all the way to the left, then you got reverse. See how it changes direction? That's low speed. That's high speed. The high speed and low speed are in the same direction. But when you go all the way to the left, it, it goes in reverse. I had to make one uh, a change. I put what I call the bulky medium gears in. Fisher Technique has a, a wonderful gear that you can kind of push together and it makes it like one big gear as long as you want without gaps. There's no gaps in there. Well if you look here, see uh, it, it's not turning, it's in between the gears. So what I did, I designed it so when it was on high gear, it's on bulky gear number one. When it's on low, it's on bulky gear number two. And when it's on reverse, it's on bulky gear number three. This is a great model and a great uh, training aid for schools and it's just fun to build. And I would highly recommend anybody that has a Lego set and a couple gears laying around to try to do it. One other thing that I did, uh, I wanted to try to replicate uh, as best I could the the gear shift. And over here, it, it's a uh, it's kind of a lever deal, you know. It's pivoted on the bottom, see it, and then it just moves it back and forth. Well, I I came up with a, a kind of a similar deal here with a, some technique parts. Let me show you one thing. I'm going to zoom in down there. See that blue connector that goes into the base? That is a blue connector and not a base connector. And why did I do it that way? Because a blue connector is a tight fit. Well, not so tight as a black connector, but it's pretty tight. If I put a base connector, base connectors are always slippery. See how it stays over there in, in high gear. If I had a base connector there, it would slip out like that. Just a trick. Where am I going to go with this? Well, 
I've been, uh, I, 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 I built my models kind of on a whim, guys. I built this on a whim, and I built this on a whim. I'm going to build a, a, a four-speed transmission. You know, when I grew up uh, as a teenager, we had a, a car with a shift. And driver's ed, even driver's ed had cars with shift, uh, a shift and a clutch. And this was a basic uh, pattern. He had reverse on the bottom. And then first, second, third, fourth. Well, that's what I'm going to do with this one. Now, I want to show you something. This is reverse. Let me put this right in front of it. See? There's our backward four. Reverse, first, second. Reverse, first, second. So the shift already works for the first, second, first, and reverse. All I have to do to make it work for third and fourth is to let it come this way, you see. And when it comes this way, I want to retain the same uh, movement but I want to change the speed of the motor. Uh oh! <laughs> I'm 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 rough on these guys. <laughs> so uh, poor Isobot. <laughs> so whenever I try to do it, to, I'm going to do this today. By the way, you move it forward. See. And that's going to change the speed of the gear. How, do, how am I going to do that? Well, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to figure it out. But if I do that, then I'll have exactly what is portrayed here as a gear shift on a car, a standard car. Reverse, first, second, third, fourth. So you got reverse. It's going then first, then second. Then when I move it over to here, it'll go faster in third, and then in fourth. And then this will replicate completely a four-speed transmission. And then what, what, what's, what's left? Well, I might go with fifth, you know, an overdrive, how you go one over and fifth, uh, but I'm not going to do that today. I might do it tomorrow. I'm just having fun. I'm trying to teach you guys creativity, uh, give you some ideas so that you can enjoy your Lego uh, better. And I'm trying to get you to watch all my videos because you, you're missing out on some of these great ideas that I throw your way, uh, you know, in the non Lego videos that I do. And I'm going to do a lot of them. Anyhow, Bill and Red, having absolutely too much fun, wishing for you a wonderful day ahead. And my robot snores. He snores, guys. Sayonara, friends. Sayonara.